Good morning from Pitlorky, just outside the wonderful Scottish Youth Hostel here, which has quite a lovely view of the town and it's just stunning. I could not be more grateful to have woken up with a little bit of sunshine today. It's just so glorious. <laughs> I think it's the first time I've woken up to the sun in, I don't know, five days. Looks like there might be some rain clouds approaching, but I'm going to just appreciate this while I have it. I'm headed to Aviemore today, which is a relatively short ride. It might not even be 100 kilometers. It shows up as like 96.5 or 97 kilometers. <laughs> so it should be a nice and easy ride, <laughs> knock on wood. But uh, it involves basically half a day uphill. The first half of the day is just a big climb, but it looks like the views might be spectacular if this weather holds up. So I am looking forward to that and just so, so grateful for a little bit of sun. I um, did do a little bit of makeshift repair. Well, not repair. I just fashioned another strap for my uh, feed bag that's broken this morning. So we'll see how that ho holds up. Um, here, I'll share it with you and I'll share the view as well. Here we go. This is the totally broken feed bag, which I've now just got strapped with a couple of makeshift options that hopefully will hold up. Um, got a little zip tie attached to some Velcro and this elastic thing, <laughs> fingers crossed. Um, and oh, let me share this view with you. It's just glorious. Hello, Pitlorky. All right, I'm gonna go hit the road. Well, still quite a lot of flooded roads <laughs> this morning, but at least it's not raining. <laughs> oh man. Such gorgeous old buildings. By, which I haven't stopped at just because I know I have a 20 mile hill climb ahead. <laughs> well, I'm just passing through the town of Calvin, which is supposedly where the 20 mile relentless hill climb begins. According to one of the guidebooks I read, the Cicerone's guidebook, it is a quote unquote pig of a climb. It is known as such because there isn't much of a view and it's just sort of steady and relentless. So here we go. I am loving passing through these old villages though. This one has the remnants of an old gas station behind me. Here, one second. There we go. Old telephone booth, gas station. It was a beautiful day. I am really grateful for the sunshine or the lack of rain. It's just such a welcome weather sight. I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go tackle this hill. <laughs> talking about in terms of a pick of a climb because the gradient is quite chill and I guess this is one of the times I'm so happy to be doing this ride in autumn and feeling so grateful for today's weather because the changing colors on this route are just stunning it's really beautiful you can kind of see this hill to my left barely through the trees but it is beautiful oh I don't know I have really enjoyed this climb I kind of love that my expectations were very low based on the description but particularly with these autumn colors, it's just been a really pleasant, I don't know, I don't know how much time it's been, and 
yeah, and it's just been like shielded from traffic the whole way and it's just been beautiful. Welcome to the Highlands. That was the peak because it's been feeling quite downhill for the last, I don't know, few kilometers. <laughs> it doesn't look downhill at the moment, but it feels downhill. So, all right. I think I've passed over the highest point of this journey. That's nice. I've just ridden through like four of these. This one was really deep. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad that I put the plastic bags over my feet again this morning. <laughs> yeah. So beautiful though. What a beautiful scene. Well, I'm just passing through the village of Kingasi, which is the capital of Badenoch. And this is where a game, Shinti, or I'm sure I'm going to mispronounce this, but Kama <laughs> Kamanacht is played. Apparently, it's like a really aggressive version of hockey. And I love this. So Kingasi is the capital of Badenoch, which sits within um, the national park that I've been riding through, the Kangorms National Park. And the Gaelic for Badenoch means drowned land. This is a floodplain that's definitely serving its purpose at the moment. Certainly can't be used for Shinti at the moment. <laughs> oh wow, it's really beautiful. check it out. <laughs> I'm so glad to have a relatively short day of riding today to be able to stop at things like this. Okay, well these are the Ruthven Barracks. After the 1715 Jacobite Rising, four defensive barracks were built to police the highlands. Ruthven, holding a company of infantry, was completed in 1721. lucky. I'm just approaching Avamore and I think this one is a little too deep because I can't see how deep it gets. <laughs> so I'm going to go take a detour. <laughs> well, in the end, I did end up going across that flooded area after seeing a man who told me that he walked across and showed me how high it went, so that was fine. But now I've come to this barrier, which has a police sign telling you not to cross. So I think I'm just gonna take a detour now. <laughs> the 
water levels are so crazy. I'm sure you can see it. It's just right up almost almost to the almost to the pavement here. Just, just nuts. Wow. These water levels are just just wow. <laughs> Gosh, and on the other side of the river. Jeez. Well, hello from Avi Moore. Oh, today was such a gift. I, I mean, that whole ride was just enjoyable. It felt really easy, short, beautiful, and fun. And I got into Aviemore and to the hostel that I had booked before four. So just plenty of time to get sorted, catch up on messages, get cleaned up, clean my clothes. And now I'm headed to a pub and just feeling so grateful. <laughs> ah, yeah, it was so lovely to have today's ride after the last few days of rain and flooded roads and detours. Um, this area is also quite flooded, so there's some sections nearby that are completely cut off. Um, so we'll see how tomorrow goes, but one day at a time and I'm feeling very grateful for today. All right, thanks. More later.